I'd love to have any superhero power, but I think the one that I need as a senator or as an elected official is probably some, something along the lines as the Flash. Just because I need to be in so many places uh, so often, so quick, and, and I hate to be late. Just com coming from the private sector, you never want to be late for a meeting. That's kind of how I was brought up. So, boy, if I could be as quick as the Flash and get to the next meeting, I could do it right now and get to the Capitol if needed, but uh, I think being the Flash would be pretty cool. I love all sorts of genres, western, sci-fi, thrillers, um, bang them up, shoot them up. I like, I like them all, but I think probably my most favorite is comedy. It just relaxes me. So uh, if, if my boy, my three boys were here, they say, Dad, you got to say Tommy Boy, because I always quote Tommy Boy lines all the time, every day. But I think if I, if I were to pick an all-time favorite that I have to to watch, uh, it wouldn't be a comedy. It'd be something more like, um, and, and it's one of my favorite, it would be Band of Brothers, and it's a series. It's not a movie, but uh, just the sacrifice and the dedication of, of uh, our fathers, our grandfathers, boy, it hits you right, right there. So uh, I would say Band of Brothers is an awesome series, but uh, boy, Tommy Boy, I know they're completely different. It's very, very close. My first lesson at a job, if I can change the question a little bit, would be I, I think every 12-year-old uh, uh, cut lawns. And I can remember cutting uh, six neighbors' lawns, and I thought it was awesome to cut lawns and make money. You're actually making money as a 12-year-old. But the, the, the life lesson or the economic lesson I learned was when, when my mom told me that I have to pay for my gas and the repairs to the lawnmower. And so I learned the expense side of uh, being a small business owner. I would tell myself to, or write down for myself, to get outside my comfort zone. Nothing spectacular happens in your life unless you get out of your comfort zone. Um, you know, I could have stayed home and, and not run uh, for Senate or State House when I was in uh, the, the House. But you got to get outside that comfort zone. And when you do, when you get out of that comfort zone, uh, spectacular things happen. We love uh, going out to Lake Michigan and just playing in the water. I have three boys and we, we just we have fun body surfing, tossing the ball in the water. It's just hanging out on the beach in the water, Lake Michigan, anywhere along the coast is probably my most favorite. But being from Grand Rapids area, I have to say probably my personal number one is, uh, it, we don't call it Beer City for, for nothing. It's, uh, you know, the, the craft breweries and, and what Michigan has done, and especially West Michigan has done with the craft breweries to go out and try all the new products. That, that, that is pure Michigan. Happy people cheer me up. People who are constantly smiling, people are happy, even though bad things or negative things are happening, if, if you can be happy, because to me happiness is a choice. Um, there's no reason to, to uh, not be happy. I mean, there's, there's situations that, that are, are um, you know, difficult, but uh, going home and seeing my wife smile, I mean, I don't think there's anything that ever upsets my wife. And so happy people, I think, is, is what keeps me motivated.